Tardy commuters who hold up trains will have to get a hustle on with two new measures being installed to keep services moving on time. Stephanie Anderson is at Parliament Station. Steph, what are they? Well, Pete, there's two parts to this trial. The first one is some markings on a number of platforms across the network that show passengers exactly where those carriage doors are going to stop and open in a bit to help them get on and off the train as quickly as possible. The second is what they're calling the burn line. Now, it's shown on displays like you can see behind me on those city loop platforms. It's basically a visual representation for commuters to say exactly how long there is to go until trains will depart from the platform. The idea of that is that will stop those last second boarders from surging forward and trying to force open the train doors, which ultimately delays services for everyone. Trips, falls and face plants rushing for the train can end in pain. <laughs> Avoiding a peak hour injury and keeping services moving on time is the focus of new measures being rolled out at stations across the city. We're calling it the burn line. It's all about giving people those visual cues to get off the train, to get on the train and allow trains to depart on time. That's where the, the countdown clocks, the, the line markings have resulted in some significant time savings along particular corridors, in some instances of up to 30 seconds. It comes as Premier Daniel Andrews confirmed Vic Roads and Public Transport Victoria are on track to merge, joining the Department of Transport. By joining them up, it's not about duplicating, it's about making sure that each part of the system knows what is going on. Taking effect from July 1, it's a change thousands of staff heard about for the first time today. We absolutely did not see this coming. People are in shock at the moment, so we need to get a lot more detail about what their future is going to be like. I want to make the point that there'll be no job losses. We're essentially hiring. Well, I think there will be job losses after the federal election. The move does have some union support. The RACV is also on board, and it's understood the licensing and registration functions of Vic Roads will remain unchanged for now. We are yet to hear all of the detail about how this is going to work. This is about integrating our transport agencies, uh, but we certainly don't rule out further changes. Stephanie Anderson, Nine News.